He's got it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, looky here. A little bit different setting today. Hey, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back. As you can see, we're out of the 402. We're in the good old state of Florida. Um, we're with our buddies Kyle and Shannon up here. I think actually Shannon's staying back today. It's supposed to get a little rough out there at sea, but um, as you can see today, big boat, um, big rods, and hopefully some big fish to come. With the old Sasher. And we sent him down to Florida, like I said. Um, Kyle's, I'm not sure what he, I think he just ran in to grab something real quick. And we're gonna head off to sea. Um, we're gonna go underpass. I don't know if we're stopping real quick or going straight out there trying to beat the storms. We do have a little bit of rickety weather coming up uh, about noon, 11 o'clock, and it's about seven o'clock in the morning. So we're gonna try to beat it out, uh, do some fishing, might catch some storms on the way back in, might catch some out there. I'm not exactly sure, but the good old state of Florida and uh, a bunch of fish. So it is red snapper season. Um, I can't remember if he said it's gag grouper or not. Um, he has been catching some big amberjack stuff like that. Um, and as you can see, I mean, this is my hand up to it. These are some big boy reels. Uh, there ain't no playing around here, so. Not exactly sure bait scenario. I know he set a pinfish trap somewhere around here, but I'm gonna let him pull that up. Don't know if we have stop and get bait or what, but we have some uh, chumming that we might do behind the boat at night or possibly even the daytime. Um, all kind of depends on the storm, so. Pretty excited, different uh, setting, different scenario, and hopefully different fish. Let's get her done. Yeehaw. These Florida boats are so nice, you just dump it right behind your seat. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah. Those work good at all? They can, yeah. Yeah, the thing's completely under. All right, first fish on. We saw some fish jumping as we were coming out, so he threw out a bird rig and you can see him jumping way back there now. Try walking forward. What do we got there? Bonita. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take it. Nice bonita. That's kind of cool. Fat little feller. Yeah. You think that's what all those were, bonita, or were some mahi, you think? I don't know. Little torpedo looking guys. All right, well, that was fun. We saw some fish jumping and stuff, so. This is, he said it kind of replicates birds diving down on the water and then below this there's a jig. So, worked pretty good. Caught a bonita right away. That's pretty cool. Doing all right? You want some beer? No bueno. All right, well, someone got sick. Um, so we're heading back in. We're gonna go fish a spot right next to shore, but in a little bit. We were quite a ways out. What can you do? Did he come off or? No. Oh, he's on there. How's the old stomach feel? <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that a grunt? That's a ruby lip. That's good bait. It goes in the live well. Got him. There you go. Come on, too. Oh, mine came off. I thought he was on there. Did he come off? No, he's still on. Okay. Squirrel fish? Trigger. A trigger? How'd you catch a damn trigger in a live pin? <laughs> These freaking things are everywhere. Wow, that's a fat dude on the live penny. Interesting. You all right? You wanna hit him? I'll just stick it out. How you feeling? Better. <laughs> 
Now we are close to land back by the house. We had some weather and stuff out there. Old Sasha was uh, not feeling too good once we got a couple miles out. And it was pretty swelly, especially once we stopped and got those fish. Uh, well, got the one bonita and we were chasing those bait fish and stuff. So we're gonna go back in, get some food. Might go tubing later, might shoot some stingrays. It's gonna make it a fun day out of here. Less stress where we go out and face the big water and stuff. And as you can see, the storms are kind of brewing right now. All the heat from the land's pushing off and stuff. We knew it was going to be pretty stormy, but uh, it hit us a little sooner than expected, and it got a little rough out there. As you can see right here, this flag's going pretty good. So yeah, we're going to go eat and uh, see where it takes us, depending on weather depending. Better? Yes. <laughs> now that you're in closer to land, how sick? One to ten. Just wow. Five miles out of the path. Let's, oh, I see a headshot. Yeah, that's a good sign. Yeah, I feel it. Oh, did he just pop up? He just popped you up. You gotta be kidding. Damn. That's not a small bait, you know? No, that's big. I felt him do the head shakes right here and I felt him come off. A couple head shakes and he came off. <laughs> he could have at least came off back there. I know, right? It's gonna be a little bit calmer out here, but got some serious, serious rollers. I feel like I'm on freaking deadliest catch. That was rougher than titties on the way out here. <laughs> the water from all the splashes. And we're gonna try to do this without falling overboard. Feels like the right kind. Yep, mingo. Nice. Nice one too. That was pretty good eating. Ah, oh, delicious. That's my favorite. Oh yeah. He's 17, so well over. Well, here's my little feller. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> so am I. Pull and drag. Yeah, this is a good fish here. It's a no. shark. What is that feller? Tiger shark? Leopard? A leopard shark? I don't know. There it goes. Oh, he just came off? Yeah. I saw his fin up top, I thought it was a dolphin. <laughs> Did he break you? Yeah, it broke me off. All right, another one on the day. Good eating. There we are. We do have a storm brewing that's actually offshore. We were hoping they were all gonna stay on shore. That's a heck of a wall cloud right there. It is, isn't it? Old Sash would have not done good out here, I'll tell no, you that. No. Hey, hey. Oh. oh. Woo. <laughs> we're getting thrown around all over out here. Yeah. All right, we're going for a big amberjack. Trying to seal the deal at sunset here. We got our butt kicked with these waves all day. <laughs> Falling around the boat and everything. See if we can make her worth it. Big old ruby lip for a big old amberjack. He's got it. Yep. There you go. Yep. Oh boy. <laughs> no. Right, 
I think you did. Thing slipped off. You're mine today. This rod's a lot easier. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my shirt's so wet, the little butt thing's slipping. About pulled the rod out of my hand. Got him? Oh, yeah, he's here. That ain't, that ain't even legal. If, if they were in season, we'd have to throw that one back. Wowzers. Yeah, that thing's tiny. Oh, oh boy, okay. Little fella. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, they fight, that's for sure. All right. Oh yeah, that one's a little... Yeah, not a bad red snapper right there. That is number four. We are limited on red snappers, and this is definitely a keeper. All right, all right. Getting on the boat. Ready, Sasha? Oh, yeah. Let's do her. Nothing else. Look at this weather. Can't beat this, so... Yeah, it's freaking toasty out today. That one was a lot more graceful. <laughs> you want it slow or fast? Fast or slow? Fast. Fast. Never mind. I thought I was gonna take off and fly there for a second. <laughs> Mingo or red? Which one do you think? Everybody's all about the red snapper, I'll tell you that. Like that's like, like everyone says, oh, that's the best to eat. The king of the crop? Yeah. So like the red snapper, one of my favorite ways to, to do it is uh, on the half shell. Just fillet it right in half, leave all the scales and everything on, and then throw the, the scale side down on the grill. It'll, it'll char this all black and the meat will be just peel it off the skin. Pretty excited, it should be pretty good. All right, Chef Kyle, once again, if you guys haven't seen his uh, cooking in the previous videos, it's pretty A1, so. We're doing a hibachi night. We got uh, that going on right there. We got some broccoli, zucchini, carrots. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is uh, garlic butter. It's got oh, gotcha. A little uh, soy sauce, garlic, and butter in it. Blackening season right on top of that. I 
Uh oh, the salt flick. Yeah, we do. <laughs> White on the edges, they're good. The finished product the red snapper, chicken, sirloin, veggie mix, and the good old rice. Heck of a meal! You, you caught me off guard. <laughs> I'm gonna gain about uh, 25 pounds tonight, excuse me. Gaining 25 pounds, one of many. You should start a restaurant. <laughs> It's not a business I want to be in. Alrighty, y'all, back in the 402. Do want to say a huge shout out to Kyle and Shannon. Um, they also do have a YouTube channel. I'll drop that down below. Definitely check out their stuff. They do some pretty wicked stuff out there in the old Florida. But all in all, good trip. Uh, good to be home as well, though. It's always nice to come home. And we do have a bunch of exciting videos for you coming up uh, later on this year, up till I season. So um, once again, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one. Appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs>